Hello and welcome to Tree Walker Talks, episode 84, Reflections. Alright, well this is Sunday, June 17th, 2024, and it is 12.12 a.m., so I guess it's actually Monday morning. But let's get this recorded and out, and it, so today was Father's Day, so happy Father's Day to everybody. Um, had a good day here, got some red lobster from the girls, and oh no, pretty good day. But let's go into the homestead update. Okay, got a lot done up there. Doesn't look like it once it's wrote down, but there is quite a bit. Um, I got my irrigation set in and did find out that I need to kind of change something on that. My first time ever doing irrigation, and I made a couple mistakes with the small line so it's not getting enough pressure. But I need to order more big lines so that I can fix that. But most of the beds out there are irrigated, ready to be watered like i said just need to switch out some of the hosing and correct that issue and then we'll have good and then it'll be like when i get home from work turn that baby on set the timer for me maybe take a shower whatever and let it run and everything will be watered so that'll be great um got quite a few things planted in the garden melon squash just sunflowers all sorts of stuff so i would say that the summer garden is probably 99 percent done i have kind of two beds out there that have nothing in them but one of them has some brassica stuff in it so that might just stay um, I do have the kale bed that I can plant some stuff in but I'm waiting for the kale to go to seed so I can collect that seed um, got all sorts of stuff New Zealand spinach is planted just rounded everything up so it did good really did a lot and that was yesterday I worked outside got a lot of things cleaned up um, just some nice things done um had one chick hatch and it was a silky they hatched it out and unfortunately um, i went out there today and it was gone so i don't know if it got eaten it got squashed what happened but every night i had to put it in the coop because nobody would take it with them or show it how or now we'll, we'll say this we'll get into it in the main too i was sitting there because of the heat taking a break sitting on the cement of the back porch and I look over and I see ducklings running all around the place over the duck enclosure because if you listen last week I was actually planning on butchering the ducks this weekend um, ran out of time anyway so that's not bad but we'll get more on that topic and the main topic but so pretty much it was a, a pretty good weekend weekday well one weekend day Saturday out there to get things done amazing what I can get done when I have two days off right but um, and this is all a quick build up because I go on vacation coming up not this coming week but the following week and it's gonna be a cluster I mean it's gonna be fun great and everything will go smooth right yeah okay so let's get into the main topic and this like I said this I say this a lot but this might be a little shorter it might run who knows so reflections um you know last week i'd said that i think i was going to and maybe you know you should look at it too if you're in the same boat and downsize on the homestead a little bit um and this is why i don't make a decision like that and act on it on the same day i make the decision i let it kind of sit and stew think about how it's going and then revisit it as i was sitting there shirt soaked leg muscles sore from working in the garden still feeling pretty good and i looked over and i saw those ducklings and now out of all of them so far only four have hatched but they hatched them no incubator needed no brooder needed they just hatched them and everybody's happy with them they're following other ducks around they just so far they're doing really good and it kind of reminded me of some of the reasons i do this um gave me some time to reflect a little bit as i watched them run around and was oh my gosh they actually hatched some out you know if i had more land this is exactly what i want i want the ducks just to have their own little areas and they can hatch out all the chicks they want and that would be one of my meat sources you know, because I'm doing this not to have animals. I'm doing this to subsidize or 
completely get off of some of the meat sources. Same thing with the rabbits. The chickens, um, some of them not so much, but they produce the eggs. And if I need to, they're kind of there waiting, you know, if I have to butcher them. But let me go into a little bit on how I got to where I was at last week. It does get discouraging when you have nobody to help you. And as some of you know in the community, I have been facing a few health issues here as of late. Um, I did have some lumps. And where it was at and that, I was worried. And um, it was reproductive because my mom had ovarian cancer and my brother had reproductive cancer. And so when I found these lumps and they were they're tender, they hurt off and on. It was a scare. You know, it was uh um I could be down, I could be going through chemotherapy, surgeries, you know, who knows what. And so I had to take stock and I looked and I thought, yet yeah, nobody here's going to do anything with the animals. You know, and I'm I'm kind of run ragged right now. Um, without the sickness going in, running ragged with energy from work and stuff. And the fatigue's there, you know, and the fatigue kind of pointed to a possibility of it being cancer. Um, so I've been going through several doctor visits, and that's one of the reasons why I've been lacking on some of my content and, and that. But uh, things turned out pretty good. Okay, I, I went in to several doctor's appointments and finally went in and had an ultrasound down, done and it's not cancerous it looks like they're cysts so fluid filled sacs so it's not even the fatty tumors like I have in other spots um, but there's four of them there um, normally they will just let it go and I will know more tomorrow because on Monday morning or Monday afternoon I have to go back to another doctor's visit to um, go over what my options are Normally they would just leave them there and then you'd go in once a year and have them measured with the ultrasound to see if they're getting bigger, you know, what's happening. But my worry is they have grown already this year that I can tell and they are causing pain on a lot of times. So I still probably will have to go in for surgery and have them removed, but that's nothing huge. Um, it's not, you know, it's not cancer. It's not life-threatening. It's just some sex that need to be removed. So I'm, a, you know, feeling better about that. There's still a lot of questions like, why do I still have this fatigue in that? And I will be working with my crack nurse practitioners to figure out what's going on with me. Um, had blood work done. Uh, my thyroid, which I thought it was, it's not the thyroid. Um, I have a couple things that are a little weird on my blood work. Like, um, co is low in my blood. So I'll find out more about that come next month when I have an appointment with her. And my blood pressure is high. Um, they started me on some medication for that, which I was on before and got off. Um, so you just need to take care of yourself and get with it and do it. You know, I've put it off too long and I've got a lot of things, little things, you know, not like can't live things but a lot of quality of life things like ripped muscles on my leg or foot and stuff that need to be taken care of while we still have this right but in the backyard we're going to change some things we're going to revamp a few things um but i do believe we're going to keep all the animals i'm going to st stick with the rabbits stick with the chickens and stick with the ducks for now um you know we'll revisit it later I need to start getting breeding on those rabbits, though. I mean, it's kind of rough right now because of the temperature, so I will probably do whatever I can to keep them happy and on a diet and thin so that they can breed and get them fixed up to their new area. And then as soon as the temperatures start to drop again, because we're in, like, the 90s all this week, and that's not normal for us. Um, I don't want them to be pregnant in that with the, that heat. But as soon as the temperatures drop again, we'll start breeding them. And I'll start butchering them. And regardless, we'll call them, like I said before, chicken. So when the people, the kids ask, hey, what are we eat tonight? Chicken. Because that was its name. So I guess wrap it up. Had some issues. I'm on the mend. I didn't give up. I did think about 
cutting back, but that's not going to happen right now. I, I am fighting to get self-reliant, self as self-sufficient as I can, and to be less dependent on those people in Washington. As my one uh, podcast, which I haven't done in a while, become ungovernable. Whatever you can do to keep their, your fate out of their hands, it's what you got to do. Just for your safety, your family's safety and that. You know, we saw it in 2020. The toilet paper scarcity. And then how much food's gone up. So let's try to get stuff in, in line and get things set up so that all of our ducks are in a row, so to say. And we're ready for what's coming. Because I'm not scaremonger. I'm not doing that. But I'll tell you, I think we're in for a rough uh, election. And I don't think it's going to be all that great. So, keep your head above the water. Let's get this as much figured out as we can. I'm working on hydroponics out there. I just planted 29 beans, like uh, bush beans, in the new hydroponic system. I'm trying to get out there and get it recorded. I'm really busy over the next couple of weeks. But hopefully I can bring you along and you can start seeing it. I have completely switched up my... Uh, um, homemade nutrients to see what it does so i'll probably get some nutrient packs for the beans and that because last year i had horrible year of beans and i'm almost out so we're trying to make it a good year with beans um, like green bean style canned green beans the girls love them so we need that but i want to play with it and see what i can get going with my own nutrients and if it works out good i'll let you know because like I said, I was worried about the using the chicken poop with um, salmonella and all of that stuff. So we've cut that out. So far right now, I'm even cutting out the rabbit poop too. I am just going with comfrey. So we'll see what kind of tea we make and how well it runs things. Alright, so hopefully that's what we're going to see in the future. I want to thank you for joining me. Hopefully you're still with me. And hopefully we can keep working together. Alright, remember, stay alive out there and keep on surviving.